Good morning to you. Morning, Spencer. Hey, good morning. Two great guests in studio this morning as we find out what's current at the Creek at the Little Creek Casino Resort. Tyler oh, yeah. Ramos and special guest Mike Tice, former Seahawk player and also for the Vikings. So busy weekend for you. you got a lot of football to watch. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Great. Thanks for doing? being here. Morning, Tyler. Good morning. Good morning. I'll just, I'll second just fiddle on yeah, this yeah, interview yeah. today. Hi, <laughs> right, Tyler. We'll talk to you later. Uh, <laughs> Mike also has a podcast, Odds and Ends, with with Mike Tice to uh, talk about football and so much more. YouTube channel, busy in retirement. Yeah, I'm trying to find, carve a niche. You know, I got some uh, bad vices, and I'm trying to find a way to make enough money to pay for them. <laughs> I'll tap into my retirement funds. <laughs> can find out more. And another big thing that Mike has been involved with for many years in a couple different locations is the Mike Tice uh, Foundation Charity Weekend for the Kids. It's going to happen this year in Shelton at the Little Creek Casino Resort. It's August 1st through the 3rd of this upcoming sum summer. And I was looking at it on the MikeTiceFoundation.com, also on the little dash Creek. Dot com website. There's a lot going on with this. Talk to me a little bit about uh, your uh, your want, your desire to help out the kids, give back for the kids, and then what this weekend's all about. Yeah, well, thanks for the time, guys. I really appreciate it. My wife, Diane, and I started this uh, 2011 down at a friend's hotel casino in a little town called Minden, Nevada, south across the city, to raise money for the Boys and Girls Club down there to have their own clubhouse. They were sharing t space at the middle school. Nine years later, we've raised $1.2 million, and we're down to two sites, and we're getting ready to announce in the spring where the site is going to be. So we're really excited. That's so great. we have that event down there. It's been an ongoing event. problem we had was a lot of my friends who have been flying in from all over the country to support us with that event were like, hey, we got charities too, you know. Yeah. You're giving all the money to the Boys and Girls Club. So Diane and I, when I retired last year, started the foundation. Uh, we like the format, the three-day format. It's a lot of work, mm -hmm. as Kyle will tell you, a lot of events. We have a bunch of different events. And so we're going to uh, give to different charities, one in, one in Minnesota and one in New York. I'm from New York. And then three in the state of Washington. We've picked out two so far in the state of Washington. The teen center, the brand new teen center, North Mason Teen Center, Boys and Girls Club of South Puget Sound, has nine boys and girls clubs throughout the South Puget Sound. Wow. A new one at the North Mason High School Teen Center. We're gonna. Uh, that's gonna be one of our charities. We're Great. really excited about that. The other one that we chose was the Hero Program. And you say the Hero Program. I thought you said it was for kids. The Hero Program is a program that was uh, formulated to uh, give funds to uh, veterans that come home with a traumatic injury. They provide prosthetics, but more importantly, they provide counseling to the kids oh, wow. of those mm. foreign sure. veterans sure. or those veterans that come home with traumatic injury. So we really think that's a big, in fact, I'm getting goosebumps right now think, talking about that one. So we have a couple other ones we're talking about to the fire department of Minneapolis about coats for kids. That's not what it's called. I don't have the name in front of me. <laughs> but it basically it's giving out coats to young kids. You need them in Minnesota. Yeah, believe me. I, I bet. Ten years there, baby. Midwest. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. cold. So we're really excited about to be able to touch some other charities and help some other youth in the United States. The website, like you said, uh, the MikeTicheFoundation.com is really self-explanatory. I did put a little video on there to explain to people kind of I don't mean the one insulting one, but dummy it down so people can <laughs> learn how, you know, what's this button for, what's that button for. We try to have everything that question you might have on that website. And so that's kind of where we're at. Where we're at. Well, you picked a great place to have this mm -hmm. event this upcoming August. There is so much to uh, do and experience at the Little Creek Casino Resort. Great uh, golf course. Of yes. course, Salish Cliffs Salish is a Cliffs, tough yeah. one. Uh, it starts off, it's going to be, uh, again, like you mentioned, three-day events. Saturday, August 1st, starts off with a Blues and Brews at the Event Center, which is, as many folks have been in there know, it is a beautiful, large facility mm -hmm. with uh, some great uh, music happening, blues there, and then a fun uh, sign and dine with Mike Tice and friends with uh, scheduled to attend Steve Largent, Sam Adkins, Norm Johnson, Chris Spencer, Max Strong, Sam McCollum. So you got uh, you, you went through the Rolodex on that one. You well, you know, friends. we're going to have 30 celebrities. That's what we've heard. Marked. We mm -hmm. think we're going to be able to uh, get donations for foursomes 
uh, for 30, 30 celebrities to play in the event. We have uh, Jim Zorn's probably going to play. Right now he's busy down in Houston, Texas, coaching the XFL team, the Seattle Dragons. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be involved. We well, reached out to other friends, other celebrities. Bobby Flay, the celebrity chef's a dear friend of mine. Guy Fieri, trying to get some. Gary Stevens, the Hall of Fame jockey that wrote at Long Acres. Uh, these are all buddies of mine. Uh, we, I want to have a good variety of celebrities uh, to make sure that, hey, if you don't like football, you like horse racing, here's a Hall of Fame train. Mm-hmm. For you. Hey, you know, so this is going to be exciting. Diane and I are really fired up about it, but uh, like anything, it's a lot of work. And that moves <laughs> into the Monday game golf event where uh, teams uh, for donations can play their round of golf and then have that celebrity with them. That'd be a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, I played in three of them this year because I wanted to see what our community has out there to offer as far as celebrity tournaments, and I was like, oh, mine's better. Yeah. So I don't want to <laughs> insult anybody, but I've been doing this for 10 years, going on 10 years, and the three-day formula is uh, going to work for us. Uh, we've got a lot of moving parts, as Ty will tell you. I've, I've, I know every department head at Little Creek. <laughs> My wife, Diane, and I, though, of, of, of good customers down there. We've been going down to Little Creek before they built the hotel. Uh-huh. We live out, we have a little home. We had a little retirement home out in Victor, Washington, on the case in it, so it wasn't that bad a a drive for us to you know shoot through shell yeah head up the hill and head over to little creek and uh, and we love it hey, nick to go back to your career here you played the most years for the seahawks no pressure here but mm-hmm. uh, what was your favorite team to play for <laughs> well you know of course uh, my favorite team to coach for was the vikings okay yeah. you know i was the head coach of sure. the vikings for four years was the last head coach to win a playoff game on the road until this past weekend when they went into Philly oh, wow. and beat up on Philly. I know, nice stat. You like that? I didn't know that until I I didn't know that until I did a radio show back in Minneapolis. And I said, Really? Wow, you guys have been in a drought. <laughs> Mike Tice. Uh, so you know, I uh I enjoyed my time at the Seattle Seahawks because that's where I cut my teeth. Uh, that's where I grew up. Uh, that's where I played 10 of my 14 years for the great Chuck Knox. I learned a lot. It really helped me playing for Chuck to become a good coach. Um, and recently, like I said, retired, did 35 years in the National Football League playing and coaching, 14 playing, 21 coaching. A little bit worn out and beat up. It gets a little tough getting up for a 730 interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I bet. When, you, when you're when you coaching, how does that help translate into uh, working with a large amount of staff and, and different organizations when you get these types it's of It's good. It, it, really, uh, it really, you know, the great... I thought he was great because he helped me in my coaching career. passed away. Denny Green used to say, plan your work and work your plan. And so if you have a plan and you execute the plan, you would know along the way that the plan might have to be altered. And Ty can vouch that we've altered this plan all the way up to like two weeks ago. But if you plan your work and work your plan, it normally works out. Be ready to make some adjustments. Don't get all... When I was younger and I had to make adjustments, I'd get mad and yell, you know, big six foot eight, 300 pound New Yorker. But uh, as I've gotten older, older and more mature, going to be 61 <laughs> in three weeks, uh, you know, I've realized, okay, things are going to happen. Just go ahead and make some adjustments. But everybody's pushing for the same goal. And if everybody's pushing for the same goal, or as we used to say, reading off the same sheet music, the song sounds pretty damn good. Tell us a little bit about some of the ways uh, local businesses or groups can get uh, yeah. the sponsorships and involved. That's what I've been really, and thanks for asking that. I've been working extremely hard the last week and uh, last three days of putting together sponsorship packages. I've changed the numbers um, <laughs> literally a dozen times tile vouch for me but uh, the, the when you go to the website and you hit click the sponsorships it's going to say call Mike Tice or email Mike Tice it's exactly right is I'm the only one that's going to deal with the sponsorships we are going to post out all the sponsorships on the website t- this afternoon I think they're pretty tight right now they're all flexible and adjustable uh, you can go ahead and email me at the Mike Tice uh, excuse me, the Mike Tice Foundation at gmail.com. We have a Twitter account. It's at Tice Foundation. Uh, and if you want to call me, I, I, you know, call my office. Um, I'm the only one who picks up the phone. It's 360 277 4416. 
And if you th really would like to help us out and sponsor part of this tournament, I'll call you back and you'll be dealing with me. You won't be dealing with a staff. We have a staff of two. It's my wife, Diane, and I. <laughs> Mike puts on two of these, as we mentioned. So when you go to the MikeTiceFoundation.com, the Shelton one is on the right. You'll see the Little Creek Casino Resort logo and make sure you click on that. Uh, Tyler, we'll get you back on in a couple weeks again. Oh, keep, here, update yeah, you here, on some other things that are happening cool. and finding out what's yeah, current yeah. at the creek. But Mike, nice to meet you. Nice right. talking with yeah, you. Pleasure. And, Thank you, guys, and what you got this weekend. I mean, I know. What, so, so Seahawks and Vikings both playing. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Today's Tuesday, yeah. and I start my research on Tuesdays, and I get a lot of friends on Wednesday to ask me for the game. I said, I'll give it to you on Friday. Uh -huh. So I'm not ready yet. To not ready. I, like. I mean, I, I pull out the, uh, you know, I'm impartial on the picks because I know people have bet money on the game. So. All right. So if the Vikings win and the Seahawks win, it'll be those two guys uh, battling it out for the championship. Do you exciting. have one of those like split jerseys that you'd have to wear? I wear black. <laughs> Plus, it makes me look. It makes me look thinner too. <laughs> Mike Tyson, Tyler Ramos, helping us find out what's current at the creek here this morning.